I'm Greg. And I'm Billy. And we're the Fuji guys. This great video is going to be the XP20, our new quattro proof or shock proof, waterproof, freeze proof, dust proof camera. Uh, the XP20, what we want you to do is if you're just trying to learn how to start up this camera and everything, we got these other videos we want you to check out first. All right, Billy, let's get into why the people really want a camera like this. Besides the fact that it's got great features and takes great pictures, it's this four way proof. That's right, it's freeze so, proof. Yeah. It's waterproof up to five meters. Right. You know, it's shock proof up to about one and a half meters. Right. And it's also dust proof, dust -proof sand so it's proof. It's all and, sealed from and dirt, any proof. kind. Okay, good. But, Why don't you give us a little demo on yeah. uh, what that means to the average person? Let's take a look at it. Okay. The XP uh, series cameras is drop proof, as you can see. In the sand, shock proof, dirt proof, drop in the water. Still recording. Let's see. The XP uh, series cameras is drop proof. Let's see. In the sand, shock proof, dirt proof. Wow, couldn't do that with my camera cool. before, I'll tell you, that's kind of cool. Uh, my kids got to have these things too. Uh, this camera, we've really upped the quality of the lens this year. Uh, we put a five times from a three times and we've also added wide angle to this lens. And also stabilization. And, and stabilization, that's fantastic. I mean, it's a 28 to 140 millimeter lens, which is great. But, you know, that's let's, optical zoom. let's just show some of that feature by uh, looking at this quick video. Wow, that's great. So, a great new lens in such a compact body. Wow, that's amazing. Fuji always amazes me. Uh, this camera, uh, in order to make it easier and even more accurate, uh, it has the auto scene recognition mode. That's correct. Uh, it can recognize a bunch of scenes from, you know, taking close-up shots to portrait to landscape to you at the beach and the sun's behind you, so backlit ah. portrait type of thing. But, uh, you know, let's just see this camera in action in that SR auto mode. It's uh, defaulted to, of course, uh, uh, to be in the SR auto mode, it can pick up uh, different scenes. Here I'm, I'm looking at actually just a lens cap and it automatically knows that it's a macro shot because it's close up. If I do have uh, subjects in the scene, uh, it automatically switches it to a portrait. Again, I'm just going to zoom in so you can sort of see that it's actually faces that I'm detecting here. And it knows that and, and it knows it's a portrait shot, of course. If it's a backlit portrait, it would also know that and fire the flash if it needs to. Uh, this is just again just a quick look at the SR auto in action. Wow, is that ever amazing? Does that That's ever cool. make it easy? So uh, you can enjoy, you know, framing your pictures and keeping up with the action uh, instead of worrying about backlighting and whether you're on a beach or not or whether you've moved close to your subject. I love that feature. Um, speaking about moving up close to your subject, I love taking macro shots or close-up shots. And does this camera have good capabilities for that? Yeah, right on the back of the camera, uh, in the uh, directional pad right here, you can see there's a macro button. Oh, okay. um, and then you can get up to about nine centimeters away from the subject. Again, let's just take a quick look at this video that I've done, uh, that I've done so that uh, you can see the capabilities of uh, the macro functionality. Check it out. The XP20 can also take great close-up shots up to about nine centimeters away from an object. Uh, you can shoot in the scene recognition auto that will auto detect macro functionalities or you can shoot in other modes like scene position, or sorry, like a program auto. So when we select that mode, in order to turn the macro functionality on, again, we'll push display to get out of the menu. Uh, th there's actually an icon right here. We push it one time, and then again, it highlights the macro functionality. Again, let's take a look at some examples of close-up shots with the XP20. Well, that's plenty close enough. I mean, if you're taking this camera from the beach to the snow to here and there to have a great macro setting like that yeah. as well on top of everything else, that's really incredible. So I know a lot of the customers that are buying this particular camera are of uh, the younger generation, the more active generation, and uh, they like to upload their movies, their HD movies to YouTube, and they like to upload their pictures easily to Facebook. And I hear this has an auto uploader function. Yeah, it has actually a built in YouTube Facebook uploader feature. Mm -hmm. What it does is, is that it just tags the files so that uh, when you do connect it to the computer, it automatically recognizes those files. And using you know, your internet connection and your computer, 
Um, it uploads those images automatically. Nice. Uh, of course, so with, with a one-time setup. So let's take a quick demo Show of this. Show us how it works, yeah. And see how that works. Another neat feature is the ability to tag photos and videos to be uploaded later to Facebook and YouTube. Um, let's take a look at some images that are shot with this camera already. Uh, I have a video here. I also have a photo. If I want to upload that to uh, Facebook later, I can push menu OK. I can scroll down until I see mark for upload. I'll select that and I'll select Facebook and I'm just going to confirm by pushing OK. And now that photo is, is tagged for Facebook. Facebook. I'm going to push back because I don't want to I don't want to tag that photo because it's actually a video. So I'm going to push the menu again. I'm going to select Mark for Upload, and I'm going to select YouTube this time, and I'm going to push OK, and now that video is marked for Upload to YouTube. I'm going to push back, and now if I look back at my images and videos, you can see that the photo is being marked for Upload to Facebook, and the video is being marked for YouTube. So the next time I connect this camera to the computer, the Fuji software is going to help me automatically upload those files to the appropriate sites. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that was easy. My one daughter alone puts, I think, 5,000 pictures on her Facebook, so that'll make it easier for her. Um, the motion panorama mode, we've had that in other cameras before, and our previous kind of tough cameras or waterproof cameras did not have this, so this is a new feature for this camera, Absolutely, correct? a great feature, and we also updated this feature on, on most of our cameras where it automatically uh, captures three shots and stitches it together for you. Uh, let's just get a quick look at this video. Show me how, how that, that works. You go into the menu, you select the different shooting modes, and we're just going to select a motion panorama from this uh, menu here. I'm going to push OK on that. And basically, it's very simple to do. Um, again, I'm just going to zoom in so I can see everything here. And all you have to do is actually take one shot by pushing the button. Okay? And then you get a little plus in, in my side. As, when, I, when I line that together, it automatically takes a second shot for me, and then I realign it again and it takes the third shot for me. Without me pushing any extra button, it does it automatically. It's going to stitch it within the camera's uh, uh, own memory system itself. I'm going to push OK to save that. And as you can see, it's a pretty seamless, very fast way to get motion panoramic, uh, um, or actually a nice panoramic image uh, using the XP20. So nice, cool feature, very, very simple to use. Uh, it takes the guesswork out of aligning any image because the camera basically does it for you. Wow, that's amazing. Anyways, nice. that is so easy too compared to the old method of doing it. So that's awesome. I'm glad Fuji's always pushing the envelope and improving things and making it easier for mm -hmm. our customers. Uh, tracking autofocus is a great feature. I know I like to take a lot of action pictures. I know someone shooting with this might be out there snowboarding or water skiing or something. So a lot of subjects moving around. Um, tracking autofocus is a special feature that's found on this camera that allows you to kind of zap in your subject and it, and lock it in on that subject whether they keep moving or not. Is, is that yeah, how so it works? Yeah, sometimes you don't want to move the camera around. I mean, you want to have that scene, but the subject's moving within that scene. And instead of moving the camera to focus and whatnot, you can set this tracking autofocus to do the job for you. Let's take a quick look at this video. Show me how that works. Go into the menu and you'll scroll down until you see AF mode. We're going to select tracking autofocus instead and I push the silly button to get out of that. Again, I got Greg in front of me here as a bobblehead. I'm going to push left. And as I remove the camera, you can see that the uh, orange box sort of continues to track on my subject wherever I aim the camera. So if the subject's moving or I'm moving the camera, uh, the camera's going to quickly uh, uh, track that subject. That is wicked. That's awesome. That's cool. Okay, well, the last top feature I want to talk about basically is the HD video. Um, this camera, although it's fairly small and unassuming, does shoot full, uh, not full, 720 HD video uh, with 30 frames per second in sound. Uh, that's an amazing video function for a camera yeah. of this size. And, and on top of that, you can actually edit some of the videos within the camera, so you can delete Ooh. some of the clips or trim the clips a little bit. Well, uh, but let's take a quick look at this yeah. video to show you Editing. how to do that. That sounds intriguing. I recorded a couple of videos here. If I push the menu button, I can ask this a couple of options here. I can trim a video, and I can actually join two videos together. So let's say I want to join this video that I'm looking on the screen. Uh, I can join it with this video by pushing OK. It's going to combine both of those videos as one file instead. So this can actually help if you're recording long videos and you want to attach uh, uh, two videos as one larger file size. Uh, you can do that within this camera. As you can see, it's doing that right now. Uh, once it's complete, um, it's going to play, basically have two clips uh, uh, being attached together. So I push down to play on it. Here's my wide angle shot of the scene. 
and then it's going to jump to my tight shot of Greg the bobblehead. So that's a cool uh, in-camera editing feature. Of course, if you wanted to trim uh, images, let's say this video wanted to be trimmed, I can go into the camera, select the movie trim feature, and then uh, and then I should just uh, push to play. And that's maybe my in point, and push OK, and push down and play again, let it play it, play it out, stop. That's where I want the out point to be. I'm going to push OK. It's going to trim uh, the in and out points uh, and so that I only have what I wanted to, uh, to do. So that's going to uh, automatically done within the camera. As you can see, uh, it creates a new file. So I, I still have the original file still saved on the camera, but I have the new trim file, which is a lot shorter. And again, that's another tight shot of Billy the Bobblehead. Wow, that is so many great features for a camera that retails under $200, besides the fact that it's waterproof, shockproof, dustproof, and freeze-proof. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of amazing it's good value quality for money. features. Absolutely. Absolutely. So listen, we're done with this video, but I just want to remind everyone out there that we've got a lot of great videos on YouTube. You can subscribe to our channel, you can leave us comments, we answer every single one, and, uh, but you can also follow us on Twitter. So please check us out there and, uh, and talk to us. Till the next video, I'm Greg. And I'm Billy. And we're the Fuji Guys.